December 17, Tuesday of the third week of Advent, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah whose mother was Tamar. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abiha, Abiha the father of Asaph. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Amos, Amos the father of Josiah, Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile, Zadok became the father of Achim, Achim the father of Eliud, Eliud the father of Eleazar, Eleazar became the father of Mathan, Mathan, the father of Jacob, Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus, the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations, from David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations from the Babylonian exile to the Christ. 14 Generations The Gospel of the Lord The Book of the Genealogy of Jesus Christ What a way to start a story! The list of unfamiliar names can turn off a lot of people, especially the new readers. Yet, that is the way the evangelist Matthew begins the story of Jesus. He traces the ancestry of Jesus as far as Abraham. The name that is often repeated is David. The genealogy tells us that Jesus comes from a royal lineage, particularly of David, because David is considered the greatest king of Israel. Matthew associates Jesus with David as the anointed leader of Israel. Jesus too is a leader, even greater than David, because Jesus' kingship and kingdom will have no end. It has been the dream and prayer of every devout Jew to have the Israelites governed by a powerful king like David. David put the nation's enemy under his control. When he reigned, there was peace and prosperity. Shalom. God recognized David's greatness in spite of his sinfulness. At the time of the gospel writing, the nation was under the control of the Romans. The oft-repeated number 14 is the numerical equivalent of the name David in Hebrew. We must stand in awe before Jesus Christ, whose birth we are preparing to celebrate. 